especially coming off my pro day, it's, it's been, been able to reintroduce myself to the scouts and kind of let them know where I'm at uh, developmentally, physically. Uh, I felt really well. Um, there's definitely a lot more stuff I need to work on in, in terms of football knowledge and uh, overall strength, but that's stuff that, that's going to come as, as we make our way down the road. So um, definitely, like I said, riding this momentum until the end of April and, and meeting with teams and just trying to get my name out there, my story out there, and uh, overall just shoot, shoot for my shot um, and then accomplish a dream. How many teams have you talked to? Talk to a handful. I mean, I mean, it's a pretty decent amount. It's not every team, but it's it's. I've, I've been pretty busy over the past week or so. So, uh, can you, you get the sense that you know, more and more teams are are, are seeing you and, and find out about you over the last you know week or two? Definitely post pro day because a lot of these guys are going off 2019 film, and that's two years ago. I've been able to practice a lot and and, and really build off of that 2019 year where I was able to gain all the accolades and et cetera. It was my last season playing. So the fall of 2020, we were able to get some practice in. I think it was like 25. I worked under a new offensive coordinator, was able to kind of learn the game from a different aspect. Um, but really just that's been my main focus. Uh, with no competition in front of me, it's always uh, turning the, the camera back around on me instead of just focus on team goals. Uh, and it's something I really would re uh, recognize uh, going through draft prep and everything. I'm no longer part of a team. I, I, I got to focus on everything uh, that I need to do uh, to get better. And it's been uh, a great process. I've learned a lot uh, about the process, but I've also learned a lot about myself. So um, just been blessed to wake up every day and just go train to play the sport. <laughs> Does it feel uh, a little, you know, we're less than a month away from the draft now. Does it, does it feel a little more real to you than it did even a couple months ago? Going through the stuff that Oh yeah, a hundred percent. The more that I meet with teams, I'm mean, starting to meet with like position coaches, uh, offensive coordinators, etc., um, player personnel. Uh, it's definitely these teams are showing interest in me. They're telling me they have interest in me. They're giving me kind of their outlook on who I am and what they think I can be. So it's it's been great. Um, just really giving me some perception of where I'm at. Um, and allowing me to even further critique myself because all, all these guys have a different outlook on football, have a different system. So uh, being able to see um, how they see me within their system and, and what areas I could develop in and get better to possibly have a chance to play within their team, their organization, uh, it's, it's pushed me that much faster, that much further. Um, definitely just trying to grow as fast as I possibly can at this moment. Do you feel like... Um you know, that, you know, even since, you know, since I was younger and watching the league, like the tight end position has you know, kind of become a little bit different. Um, and obviously, you know, you, you're kind of the guy that, that fits what the league is, the way the league is going uh, right now. It, does it feel that way? Do you, do you feel like, like your skill set at the tight end position um, fits into, you know, the way the position has been used in the NFL, especially over the last few years? Uh, 100%. Um, uh, as the league develops, teams are there's a higher demand for tight ends, especially tight ends that can be uh, of impact in the run game. Uh, usually, tight ends in the past were mainly those uh, inline blockers, or you would have a guy that was just a big receiver. Now they're being expected to do more, um, as a team always wants a tight end on the field, uh, just to be able to go in and out of for, uh, certain formations, etc. Have the ability to pass, have the ability to have three extra run blockers on the field at once and 13 personnel. Um, it, it's definitely the demands raise, raising, and I feel like I'm coming in at the right time uh, with my specific skill set and uh, just natural ability athletically. How important was your pro day to you, given that you, know, you, you, know, you mentioned a little bit ago you had you know, basically had it in since 2019. How important, how important was that pro day to, uh, you know, to kind of show people that, you know, I know it was two years ago, but, but you know, this is where I am now? It was huge. Uh, like we said, not being able to play in 2020 or 2000, uh, in early 2020. Um, just really um, getting out there and being able to perform. Um, I haven't been able to do that. I've been training behind doors and, and trying to um, get up to the moment to where I could get out there. It was my combine. Um, normally we'd have the combine in Indianapolis, but due to COVID it was on a different platform. So. Uh, just having that opportunity to really show myself and uh, 
and just take the next step forward in this process. Uh, and that was kind of my performance review. Now it's time for interviews, and et cetera, and just really building rapport with teams and coaches and uh, just trying to get my name called at the end of April. Talking to teams and, and scouts and, and different coaches, uh, do, you have a, do you have a sense in, in where you, know, you, you may go? And, uh, no, it's, 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 I mean, it's all over the place, and especially in this, uh, the way this whole system works uh, with the draft, with um, the NFL period. Um, it, it could go any way. A team could trade up for a fifth round. Like, it, there's no telling. A team could tell me right now they want to draft me so-and-so spot, um, and I could get something else could happen, and they might have to drop another position. And that, and it, it could go anyway. So really, I, I have no expectations. I'm trying to keep myself as open as possible um, and just really trying to get into a, a system to where I can learn and grow behind maybe some veteran guys and, and just really be exposed to the level of football, something I haven't done yet, uh, been able to do yet. Uh, I definitely am very confident that once I get there, I'll be able to just expand my game at an all-time high and learn from some of the best to ever do it. So, um, yeah, just really waiting on my shot. You've, uh, you know, you obviously did in 2019, you haven't had a chance to play. Uh, do, you, do you still feel like there's, like, a ton of room for, for you to get to get better. Like, do you feel like anywhere close to the way you could lead? The yeah, um, not even nowhere near. <laughs> uh, I feel like the sky is the literal limit for me. Um, I just only playing tight end for a season and a half. Um, only been able to to learn so much of an offense in college. They kind of throw stuff at a wall and just see what sticks. In the NFL, uh, the game of football is so deep. Um, I think the depth of the game that I'll be exposed to is. It'll, it'll do numbers for my overall play style and, and what I'll be able to do on the field and for an organization. How bad, you know, do you want to hear your name get called, uh, you know, next, next month? Okay, hear my name get called, uh, that's not really something. I mean, the, the draft is, is more of a celebration of guys coming into the league. So um, just really knowing that I have the opportunity, I'm already on cloud nine. Um, just knowing that somebody wants me to play for the organization, wants to give me an opportunity to uh, play at the highest level of the sport. Uh, that's all that I'm in it for. Um, so yes, it's gonna be a bonus if my name gets called, but if it doesn't get called, I'm still looking for the first opportunity that comes my way. Um, and just staying positive day in and day out and just trying to be the best me I can be. Is it, uh, you know, this is my last question for you, you know, playing here uh, and then going to Central, is it, is it a it's kind of like a blur, man, because it does for me, you know, just like thinking about you playing out here and, and, and now, you know, we're talking about you getting drafted. Um, you know, does it, does it kind of feel like uh, this stuff has kind of flown by and is this an opportunity that, 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 you, that you thought when you were playing here would, would present itself in the way it has as a, a tight end? Um, it's definitely blowing by. Uh, it's not something that necessarily I would have told you I was dreaming about. Uh, I was definitely dreaming about, but I could see happening. Uh, it kind of fell into my lap. I was able to get to a great system in Central Missouri and, and be a part of a great offense and uh, really have the respect and expectation that Coach Swoboda had for me and the offensive coordinator as well as the whole staff. But just really having the bar set high and having every tool to reach those bars, um, it was a lot for me. And going to Central, uh, it was great to step out of my, uh, my realm and kind of learn and develop on my own. I mean, it's two hours up the road, but it's still, it's uh, the only one of my only, one of my only opportunities was Missouri Southern and, and Central at the Division II level. So it was huge for me to step away. And I, ultimately, I feel I uh, was able to develop at a fast rate, be exposed to a lot in football and uh, just really make the most of it. Um, and I've been blessed to have the junior season that I had and, and then be able to stay healthy through 2020 and to be on this uh, this platform now. Um, it's, it's, it's been a hell of a ride, but um, it's just now getting started and something I got to prepare myself for mentally and physically uh, because it's going to be a load that I've never ex had on myself or never even expected for myself. So it's really just mentally preparing myself and physically preparing myself to play at the next level and uh, just to be exposed. Anything else you want to add before I set this thing off? No, not much. I have one question for you because I, I did a different pro day uh, yesterday and you kind of you know, talked about the, you know, being a Division II guy, being a little bit of a Division II guy. Is that something that you've encountered and is that something that, that, that motivates you or, or bothers you or something? 
think about it, or do you feel like there's a, there's a uh, uh, you know, I, I don't know what the word is, but you know, if you said people look down and just see guys with straight blades, you know, it's covered in my double A nose that this is yeah. this, this not <laughs> this, this it, the truth. Yeah, 100%, uh, not 100%, but um, it's definitely not something I feel holds me back. Um, at Division Two, you a lot of schools in Division Two have um, most of the facilities that you could have uh, just to be successful and stay healthy. Um, but it's really a mindset going into it. I went into Central Missouri as it was one of my only options. If I was going to continue playing the sport, I was going to do whatever it took to do it. Um, as my opportunities expanded themselves, uh, just having everything there in front of me at, from the weight room, from the athletic training room, uh, and learning to use it in, in my personal formula of how to stay healthy, how to attack the game, how to grow. Um, it's, that's, that's what is most important playing at the Division II level because, yes, the, the level of competition is not there. No, you don't have the exact same facilities that a D1 has, um, but uh, you're still an athlete playing the same sport at the end of the day as long as you can show that you have the talent and you can be consistent and you have potential to play at the next level. Um, it's definitely... Um, it's definitely worth going D2. I mean, there's not that much of a, anything holding you back. Cool. Tony,